Ja, so Lockdown. One more weekend. Sunday, it's over. Back to normality. Is that good or bad? But yeah, Sunday, the president announced last night that level two ends and we're down to level one. How exciting! We're back to, what are we back to? Well, <coughs> everything basically except uh, for curfew from 12 until 4, which could be pretty good. I mean, at least now if you're going visiting, you've got an excuse to stay over, you know, like, hey, guys, like... It's like quarter to 12, you know, I can't, if I go now, like, I'm going to be late, I could go to jail, you know, you don't want to have to come and get me out of jail tomorrow, do you, babes, I mean, like, I just stay on the couch, you know, I'll, I'll be cool, you, you trust me, nothing's going to happen. Dong, 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 <laughs> lockdown, <laughs> yeah, interesting time, this bloody thing, but so here we have COVID, looks like it's on the de decline, it's uh, the... The line is flattening, so it's like flat like the Kalahari, it's beautiful. Uh, infection rate is decreasing, death rate is almost negligible, like like 2% or something apparently, it's very, very low. <coughs> Much lower than Europe, and our infection rate is lower than Europe and the States and all of these first world countries. I mean, there was once talk of technology and innovation tech, 5G and stuff. Maybe having something to do with the infection rate, but no, nah, it's probably not possible. I mean, the fact that the high tech and developed countries are going down and Europe is now going back 10% over what it was before at their maximum, at their peak. <laughs> but, and the third world countries, hey, we're all cool, man. <laughs> Our people are just not dying. It just shows you, hey, inbreds of strong. But then we got, of course, this 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 app. It's quite a funny one. It's quite a hectic one. I mean, <coughs> so I'm just trying to work out. People are not dying that much anymore. Okay, the COVID, it's curse flattening and everything. We've got enough beds. We can start even getting other hemorrhoids. You can go back to hospital. You don't have to have piles of problems at home. <coughs> So they're not dying. I mean, fa in fact, it's we are so cool and getting so much better that now they've got to get this high tech, this 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 app to send it out to go and look for us. Do, 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 do. We can't find them. I mean, surely if it's an epidemic, people are dying. You just follow the body trail. You know, there's another couple of bodies, and they boom, go and pick them up, put them, follow the little wagon to the hospital. Although they don't strike, aren't they? <coughs> but uh, but now we get this app that it's going to trace us all. So it traces the disease. I'm not quite sure how it functions, actually. So it will help us detect. So what happens? We put it on our phone, and then we go into a crowded area, and someone there has got COVID, and it's sort of bzz, bzz, or maybe it's like prod your pocket, prod your ass or something, you know, like, hey, man, someone's here with COVID. I mean, it's going to be like someone farting in a lift or something. Everyone's going to be looking because all of their phones are all going to be prodding their backsides all telling them someone's in the vicinity has got COVID but how are we going to know who it is <laughs> it could be anyone and the person that's got it okay so their ass is not getting prodded but it should get prodded because they had COVID so surely they should have the record and they should be in quarantine but anyway they are standing here with us <laughs> and they're like no nah, not me but just so that I'm out there also going lizard eyes you know like the same thing, everyone, no one knows who it is. The next minute, what's going to happen? Like a brown trucker. Eh. I was getting out. This is a warning. This is a warning. Please do not panic. We are coming to rescue and save the nation. Next minute, these guys come out in, in, in camouflage with all these fucking medical masks, like, like coma or something, you know. And they run into the shopping center. They put on a rontom for dirk and they lay eggs down there with guns. They tell people to lie flat on the floor, still with this phone prodding or buzzing in their pocket. And they go around, they find out whose phone's not prodding, not buzzing. And they take that person and whisk him away. And the family go, oh gosh, wonder where they're taking him. Boom, and he's gone. Is that what's going to happen? I'm not quite sure. Because the fight apparently is now taking COVID off the streets, but now it's into households. So does that mean that people are coming to the households? And that's what the serious part about this whole app is. Okay, they're not going to access any kind of personal information. 
they're going into a smartphone with a smart app. It's like going and seeing a porno star in the shower and promise you're not going to look. Sure, they're not going to look. I mean, they're going to taste like a peak, aren't they? Are they? How do we know? I mean, who's developing the app? Have they got a track record of, of integrity? I mean, doesn't this all stem from World Health Organization and Mr. Bill Gates to start with? I don't know. I don't know what the truth is, but there are so many, there's so much smoke. And the idea that I'm being forced to carry an identi identity device like the 666, we've always heard the 666, and this has taken a different form, and now it doesn't have to be tattooed onto our skin. We are carrying it willingly in our pocket, so we can be traced and tracked where we are, who we're with, what we are doing at any time of any given day, and not even being aware if we are, and even if we switch our device off, they can still track it. We look at Europe now going to the second phase, <laughs> and I sit and I look and I think, what was the pandemic? What was the problem? Was COVID a means to an end where the end was to actually get humanity to adhere and buy in willingly to become monitored on the level that they are being able to now with this, with this app? I mean, maybe the intentions are good. But five years down the line, we've heard so much of, of data getting lost and stolen and traded and hacked. And now they are right in our pocket, in our space. Could you imagine they're getting into child traffickers' hands? And they're getting hold of this information and they can know where parents and families are at any given time. Could you imagine the implications of all of this? That any time any institution has got that kind of information or access to you and you don't even know.